Meet Royal Barber of Batesville, Arkansas, who during four months of the year makes a living diving for mussels in the White River, hundreds of miles from the nearest ocean. Does inland shell fishing pay? You bet it does. Enough to support Royal the rest of the year while he is serving as an ordained Baptist minister to Ozark Mountain folk who can't afford to give their pastors a regular salary, or for that matter, any salary at all. The shellfish now are steamed, but not as part of an ordinary clam bake, only to open them up so the meat can be easily extracted. What Royal is after are the mussel shells. At companies like Batesville Shell and Pearl Works, the shells brought in by men like the Reverend Barber are shoveled into a sizer that lets them flop around and around until they come to holes just their size. The size of a shell affects its thickness, its quality, and the number of buttons that can be made from it. Yes, it's buttons the mussel shells are used for, and here's how they're made. Held in a special clamp, they're brought up against a rapidly spinning circular grinder. The grinder, of course, has merely cut out the button blanks, which now are shipped to a button manufacturer to be further ground, punched, and polished. That button maker is dependent on this 14-man company, which, in turn, is itself dependent on one-man operations like that of Royal Barber. It takes a lot of people to create finery for feminine costumes from shellfish found in the Arkansas mud. 